All right, now it's time for Annette Burgard. Welcome to Ecosami. This is yeah. Annette thank you, yeah. from Sephira. Excellent, thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm here today to talk about Sephira. Sephira is software for high-performance building design. And I wanted to start by just quickly looking at a high-performing building and what that even is. High-performing buildings are buildings that we feel comfortable in. It's buildings that have a good temperature, that are well lit, that we really like being in. And we, we care about that a lot, actually, because we spend 90% of our time inside. That's pretty stunning if you think about it. It's, I mean, outside, everyone loves being outside, but we do end up living and working inside. And we all know what it feels like when that is not comfortable, when we're too hot, too cold, too, it's too dark, it's too bright. We just don't want to be where we are right now. There's good news and bad news here. The good news is that it is internal space, so you can condition it. So you can always switch on your air conditioner, switch on the heating, the light. The bad news is that we do that a lot, and that that consumes a lot of energy. And for that reason, buildings consume about 40% of the global energy. That's something that people underestimate a lot. We talk about transportation all the time. We talk about industry and, and production. But buildings consume a lot of energy. And the, the reason for that is that making buildings is actually, is actually not a very straightforward process. I wanted to show you two images, or actually two, I guess, collections of images. One is airplanes, and the other one is buildings. And what you see here is all airplanes look remarkably similar. While every single building is unique. We just saw that in another presentation from LECO. Buildings are, are not the same, and that is why it's so hard to make, them, to make them more efficient and to design the ones that don't need energy to be comfortable. Because how it works is every single building has a very unique situation. It's in a unique location, and it, has, it needs to be optimized for that. What that means is even if we could make one perfect building in theory and didn't care about the fact that every building in the world looks the same, it still wouldn't work because a building that performs perfectly in London, if you move that building to Singapore where it's more humid and much more hot, it would perform terribly because you wouldn't want the air inside, you wouldn't want the humidity inside, you wouldn't want the, the sunlight to come inside because it heats up the building. And so what that means is there is a, there's a really big challenge to, to get buildings and to design and optimize every single building. Now, we call that performance-based design. That is the solution to that challenge. It's something that architects can do and that Sephira is helping them do. We have come up with a, with a software tool that allows designers to, to take the situation of every individual building into consideration while they're designing it. And I wanted to show you what that looks like. It's essentially a plugin that sits in the design environment of the architect or engineer, they can understand their, their building, the specific building that they're looking at. They understand, you can see in the, in the tool there, the location of the building, this one is now in New York, they see the surroundings of the building, they know whether there is shade from surrounding buildings, they can understand exactly how their building will perform, and they can use the fire to understand for every single decision they make while they design, whether that will increase energy use or decrease energy use, how it will impact daylighting. They can see, we have tools that show them which areas of the building will be overlit or underlit, so they can understand whether they need to put more shading, whether they need more electric lighting in that particular room. They can really optimize the building in that way. And then engineers can come in and can also optimize the size of the systems that that building needs to be comfortable. Air conditioning, heating are the obvious ones here. And this is so important. Um, it's to give you another example with the airplane. It is a little bit, buildings are designed in a way now it's comparable to an airplane being designed and then you understand how fast it can go and how much fuel it needs when you actually fly it across the Atlantic for the first time because you had no way of understanding that. And that is how buildings have been designed in the past. They're just designed, they're built, and only then will you know how they will perform. And I mean, why is that the case? Because architects didn't really have much of a choice. There was no tool that made that possible. And so Sephira was founded in 2009. Um, we've benefited from a lot of the technologies that, that are out there now. Cloud computing obviously allows much faster analysis, makes, makes a lot of this possible. And so we have created this tool for architects um, that, that allows them to understand the performance of their building as they go. It's a team of architects, software engineers, and building engineers. We have offices now in London and New York, and actually opened one this year also in Sydney. We have a couple of really exciting announcements coming up. And I mean, we are growing fast. We have more than 500 customers now worldwide that are already using Sapphire to, 
to design better buildings, but there's obviously lots of opportunity and we are looking to, to raise more funds next year to keep growing like that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Annette. Thank it, you. It's a great software tool and I think we have an investor maybe sitting in the room. Is René here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, René. One of your <laughs> happy investors. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> How Thank much uh, more money do you want to raise? Can you give us an idea? Uh, we're, we're in the process. I mean, we have, we have a, lot of, a lot of stuff happening over the next six months and that will determine a little bit the exact amount. But okay. if you're interested, by all means, please do get in touch. It will happen next year at some point. Will you be here only today or tomorrow? All day today. Okay. Talk to Annette. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> We need to recycle your microphone, exactly.